Glamorgan going to the bank holiday with a chance of making it to the semi-finals of this season's Yorkshire Bank 40 as they also improved their net run rate with an easy 68-run win over Leicestershire in Swansea. Batting first, the Welshmen got off to the needed flyer in what was a must-win game for them, their game in hand on the two sides above them in the group, Somerset and Gloucestershire, who play each other on Monday in Bristol. In front of a big and expectant crowd in St Helens, Gareth Rees and Mark Wallace took 60 off the first eight overs of power play and then added more boundaries as they carried that opening partnership to 84 in the first dozen overs, just as Stark the Morgan would have wanted, Wallace making it to a 50 off 39 balls. He was out to the next ball he faced, though, as he was bowled by Ben Rain. The momentum was then kept up by Chris Cook, who drove Rain over long on for the game's first maximum. And the number three continued to play positively, as the home side posted a score of 122 for one at the halfway stage of their innings, giving the remaining batsmen licence to play their shots for the final 20 overs. The pick of the Leicestershire attack was spinner James Sykes, who had Reese LBW on the sweep for 45. Before, he also removed Jim Allenby, who drove to Michael Thornley with a score on 154 for three, midway through the 26th over. Marcus North wanted as big a score as possible, of course, for his side, and he needed only one hand to help Rob Taylor over the ropes. The Australian made a speedy 29, but was out at the start of the 34th over as he nicked a pull off Nathan Buck behind at 210 for four. Murray Goodwin, in wonderful touch right now, emphasised that with some sublime cricket shots, which now pushed the rate up some more. In just 14 balls, he added 32 with Cook, who batted really well for his 85, which was made off 76 deliveries. He was the fifth man out, slicing rain to Thornley, but in spite of that, plenty more runs came off the final 27 balls. Goodwin helped himself to four sixes overall in his exhilarating 48, which occupied just 19 balls at a strike rate in excess of 250. He gave Buck his second wicket towards the end, but Graham Wagg took the six count to eight and the total to a massive 303 for six from Glamorgan's 40 overs. Leicestershire were out of it by the end of the mandatory power play in which Josh Cobb edged a good one from Allenby to the keeper. Greg Smith went in a similar way off the bowling of Michael Hogan. And Ned Eckersley was bowled via the inside edge and thigh pad by Allenby. That left the Foxes on 25 for three after eight, which became 53 for four in the 15th when Shiv Thakur lost his bails to Andrew Salter. Nile O'Brien impressed, though, to ensure that this wasn't an embarrassing loss for his team, one which started this competition so brightly before falling away. The Irishman started to forge a good partnership with Thornley, making his own 50 off a patient 83 deliveries. He picked up the rate of his innings from there, smacking Wag for a maximum, but still 181 runs were wanted of the last 10 overs. It was an impossible task, of course, although Thornley helped himself to a 53-ball half-century. His innings contained some glorious shots, even though it was all too little too late. He put on 133 in 22 overs with O'Brien, making 68 of those before he holed out off Hogan. With a game long since lost, there was at least a chance that O'Brien could make 100, but eight runs shy, he chipped Allenby to Hogan as Leicestershire ended on 235 for six. That was in spite of a fun 32 from Tom Wells, who smashed four sixes from the 12 balls he faced. It meant nothing to this result, which saw Glamorgan win by 68 runs. They now have 15 points along with Somerset and Gloucestershire. A win in Leeds against Yorkshire may still not be enough to win the group, but a semi-final berth is still very much up for grabs.